Well, what we have here is um, my bottling machine, and uh, the bottling crew, there's three of us there working, and um, I'm operating the um, corker, I'm basically taking bottles off the machine and putting, putting them on the corker, which uh, pulls a vacuum, pushes the cork into the bottle, and then I'm dropping them into cases and then filling a pallet. Um, Unlike a lot of other small wineries, I have my own bottling machine, which allows me to bottle any lot of wine when it's ready to go, no matter how big or small. Um, how big is uh, determined by how many days or hours we want to work, but uh, in the background of this picture is a thousand gallon tank. It'll do about 400 cases of wine, and three of us can bottle that whole tank in, a, in an entire day, and not a really long day either. So. Um, that holds about 16 or 17 barrels. Um, I often make lots that are one barrel in size and I may not call anybody else in to help me bottle that day and when I end up running around doing all the things. Happily I can turn the, uh, the speed of that um, turret that has the bottles on it to a very slow speed so that when the bottle comes around it is just filling. And when we're going very fast or I can have it go very slowly. Uh, we've had a retrofitted with a variable speed uh, device that fools the motors into uh, being fed different frequencies so we can have infinite ad adjustment of it. And that comes in very handy in the morning sometimes when uh, you haven't, your coffee hasn't quite kicked in. We need to run very slowly and we have to you know, be retrained sometimes uh, if we get a day off. Um, by mid-morning or later in the day, once we've really got a head of steam and everybody's uh, been retrained as to where to put this stuff, we can operate about as fast as the, the wine will uh, dribble into the bottle. Back to the machinery itself, the gray sort of thing with a couple tubes on there, that is a sparger. What that does is it blows nitrogen into the bottle for a defined period of time. And it does two things. One, it blows some of the potential um, cardboard dust that might be inside the bottle out. And it also lowers the oxygen level that is in the bottle so that when the wine splashes in there, the uptake of oxygen is greatly reduced. So um, that happens first. It goes on the filler machine. It comes around the back side. I pick it up, make sure that it's as full as I want it to be, and put it on the corking machine where a vacuum is pulled and the headspace the cork is shoved in, and um, I'm able to fill the case. Because I always run the corking machine any time later when we go ahead and label the things, if I have high fills or low fills, I know exactly where to look to see the culprit is. It's in the mirror. So um, it's nice to have a little bit of um, um, accountability built into the system as well.